G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. Today, I've received some mail um, from Gavin. Gavin from Victoria in Australia. He's kindly sent me some gold ore. So, I'll set this up and I'll just show you. I'll open up the package. And we'll have a look together, see what Gavin has sent me. Oh, he's got a letter here too. I better read that out to you. Sent me a letter. Okay. Sit this up there. Hey, Kev. Just a small sample today. Small bag of sluice cons. Small bag of crushed and some other rocks that I'm interested in. Uh, to see if they have any any of the good stuff in them. I collected them while I was looking for a lost gold mine, which is still lost. Ha ha ha. Hope you are getting out and, and enjoying life. I am, Gav, I am. Stay safe, find the yalla, and I look forward to seeing more of your adventures. Cheers, mate. P.S. You might need a sock on your camera, sometimes especially in the wind. Yeah, I know, mate, yeah. I'm, I'm working on it, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Gavin. Okay. Now, I'll just set this up so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, this is the box of ore that Gavin has sent me. I'll try and open it up without cutting myself. See, this is um, it's a bit wet. I've had it out in the shed, and uh, it's been sitting out there. It's got a bit of moisture on it. Yeah. So this is one bag of cons that I can just I can just put this in a pan and uh, pan out. And here's another bag. This is more gravelly type material, ri uh, the river material that Gab said said that he'd sent. And then I've got these rocks. You can see the quartz, little quartz string of veins and that going through that. Yeah, that, that looks really good, Gavin. Really red and rusty. Yeah, good stuff. So what I have to do, this, this material I have to crush it, obviously. But um, it looks like it looks like good material. Yeah. Okay. So I'll set up my pan the station, I'll pan out that river cons first and then I'll crush the rocks and we'll uh, we'll pan them out and see what we get. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so first up I'm going to do this bag of river cons that Gavin sent me and hopefully we'll get some gold out of it. Make sure I wash that bag out properly. Get all the gold out. Okay, guys. Let's pan this out and see what we get. Gavin might have put some nuggets in here for me. See the black sand in the, in the pan already. Oh, I saw something yellow. I think it slid out of the pan. Probably a big flat piece of gold. Okay guys, we'll pan this back and see if we get any gold out of Gavin's river cons. Yep, I can see some gold. 
lot of fine gold there. A couple of chunky bits, big bits, and some super fine stuff. A couple of pieces of piece just here. And there's another big piece just over here. And some fine stuff in there. So I'll, I'll snuff her all that up. Okay guys, I'll get back to you with that oversized material he's got there. Okay, this is the oversize that Gavin sent me. Maybe there's, maybe there's some big nuggets in this stuff, guys. Maybe this is where the big stuff is. The big stuff's in here with the oversized material. Okay, I'll snuff it, um, all that fine gold and... Uh, the fine gold, I'll snuff it up, my snuff a bottle, and all the black sand and, um, and the other fine concentrates, I've kept them and I'll smelt them another time. Okay, this is where the big chunky gold's going to be amongst this stuff. Big nugget in here, guys. And I will, I'll repanel this material because I think I saw a big flat piece of gold um, slide over the edge. It could have just been a yellow piece of quartz, but um, I'll repan it all anyway just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, let's see if we can see a big piece of gold in this lot. Any big flakes? Not seeing anything. No. Nothing in there, guys. No, no gold in there. That's all right. I'll um, I'll set up my crusher, and then we'll crush up this rock, and we'll pan that out. See how we go. Okay, guys. Here's all the rock, all broken up. Now I'm going to run it through the crusher. Okay, pan number one, guys, of this material that I'll put through the crusher that Gavin has kindly sent to me. And we'll see if there's any gold in this rock material. It'd be good if there is. We'll put Gavin onto a spot where he can Go and get some more material. Might be a bonanza here for you, Gavin. A 
Okay, guys. Let's see what we got out of this lot. Let's see if we can get any gold for Gavin. Oh, I think I can see some. Just some fine, yeah, there's gold there. Fine, fine stuff, but I can see it. There's some very fine gold in this material, Gavin. I'm going to stuff it all up. All up in here. It's all fine gold. Yeah. So I'll wash this bit out. And then I'll stuff it all that up and keep it. Okay, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number three, guys. And, uh, yeah, there's gold in this material. It's, it's really fine. And it's not a real lot of it. In each pan, there's only just a few fine um, specks of gold in it, but I can see it without the jeweler's loop. I can see the specks of gold in the pan. But, uh, yeah, they are small, but at least I can see them. And sometimes it pays to go back. If you get gold in a, in a particular type of rock, it pays to go back and look to see if there's any rock that might be um, a lot darker and and uh, richer looking material and and just crush that and pan it out and see if you get uh, better gold yeah so and that's what I'm doing out in the hills I'm finding uh, rocks that I'm bringing home and crushing and panning and I'm finding really um, small microscopic gold in the rock but it tells me there's gold there but I just have to keep searching to see if there is any richer deposits in the area okay let's see if we can see any big specks in this pan Yeah, it's all up here guys, all, it's all small little specks. Yeah, but there's gold, there's uh, gold in it, the material. Okay, I'll get back to you with the last pan. Okay, pan number four and the last pan of Gavin's material. And uh, yeah, um, fine gold, fine gold in, in each, each of the pan. So, that tells you, Gavin, that there is gold in this material, but uh, it, it is fine. But it might be worth going back and having a bit of a, a bit more of a look around and see if you can find any, um, maybe some of the vein material, and just look for something that looks a bit richer, darker red, black, that sort of thing. And this is all good fun, guys. Get out there, find some rocks, crush them up, pan it out, see, see if you can find any, any gold. Okay. The last pan of the sample. Let's see if I can show you a big piece in this pan. That's where it sits, just up there in the back of the pan. I can see it already. It's really fine, fine gold. But that's alright, it's something, yeah. All up in here. Looks like there's heaps of specs. But, yeah, really fine. Okay, guys, I'll see you at the wrap-up. Well, guys, wasn't that cool? 
thank you very much, Gavin. Appreciate it, man. And, uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of gold. There was a couple of um, bigger pieces from that river, uh, that, that river sand that, that you um, sent me. I'm going to pan that out. You can see a couple of nice little specks in there. And the rest of it, out of that, uh, those rocks that I've crushed, yeah, it was just fine gold. But there's gold in there in those rocks, but just that um, microscopic gold, yeah. Anyway, um, Shane. Shane from Victoria. Uh, Shane lives on the edge of the golden circle, uh, sorry, the golden, the golden triangle in Victoria. And Shane sent me some rocks. He wanted me to cut them and polish them for him. So I've done some for you, Shane. I'll just show you what I've done, mate. I hope you can see that shine on there. So um, this, I don't know, even know what this rock is. I know there's quartz in there, but there's some other green, grey sort of colour rock. So I've cut and polished that for you, Shane. And here's that speckled, that speckled piece, mate. I've done him. And this one here, I don't know what kind of rock rock this is. It has got, looks like it's got some um, pyrites in it. You can see the little silver specks in the stone. And I threw in one, I, I threw in this piece of unikite for you, mate. This is a piece of unikite, yeah, from Western Australia, this rock. So I've thrown that in for you. And I've still got, uh, still got another couple of pieces of rock to, to polish for you, mate. Yeah, so um, there for you anyway, um, Shane, they're coming back to you, mate. Yeah, so you can put them on your windowsill. Um, I think that's all, guys. That's, that's all I, I wanted to say. Thanks again, Gavin, for sending me that all, mate. That's, I appreciate it. I hope it puts you onto a, onto a spot. Like I said, those rocks, there's fine gold in them. You might have to go back and just hunt around and see if you can find some rock that's more, got more red, more black in it. That looks a bit, uh, a bit more mineralised. That's what you need to do. And just crush, a bit, uh, crush it up at home and just see if you um, get any bigger pieces of gold in it. Yeah. Okay, guys, um, that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos, subscribing and helping the channel. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Stay safe out there, guys. Take care. Be good. And hopefully, my next video, I'll be out bush. Okay, guys. Bye for now.